Hi, thanks for tuning in to Turn to the Stars. My name is Andrea Klim, and I'm an astrological counselor and shamanic practitioner from the local Manchester area. And I want to give you uh, a little heads up of what we're going to be talking about today. And as you can see at the bottom of the screen, um, I've got a Leo story to tell you today. And so it's basically going to be from May of 2013 till August of 2013, a Leo's story unfolds. And I'd like you to try to guess throughout the process of the show um, who this Leo is. And I'm going to start out by uh, telling you that I'm starting back in May because of the solar eclipse that we had back in May really did have a strong impact on this person and and for the purpose of the show until I tell you who it is I'm gonna call this person L and so every eclipse this is a solar eclipse uh, typically solar eclipses are considered the most powerful and they do carry a theme or a story that is promised to f unfold over the course of the months to follow that is the next five months to follow until a new theme through a new eclipse the influence of a new eclipse come in and so using the chart of the Leo that I told you about earlier and it is something we're very someone we're very all very familiar with and um, so I'm going to discuss the theme of the solar eclipse as it influenced this person back in May of this year 2013 and the timing of the current turning point which is now in August and an astrological key that I use in my work for interpretation as you know astrology is a scientific uh, practice it is one that looks at the energy influence of the planets and how that is affecting us here on earth and um, I do want to just make a little note that I am not a political astrologer but I did choose the the Leo's chart that I did because this person is a Leo and because the chart is perfect due to the degree of his son and other planets in his chart now we know it's a him <laughs> his chart works as a great example for demonstrating this astrological key that i use for interpretation in my astrological practice so um i do have a um i have a uh a a chart that shows what i call a story chart and that is what you're looking at on the screen right now this is a bi-wheel chart you can see one chart with another chart around it and it shows what is to unfold over the course of the next six months and at the very bottom of the screen on the outer wheel you can see that solar eclipse the inside chart is the chart of this Leo and um, so I'm going to talk about uh, what the story is um, and and what the theme and the promise that this eclipse holds for this particular person and so being that a solar eclipse is a major astrological event that promises over the course of the next six months that th that will experience a theme of change a solar eclipse does promise that the that our identity will go through a transition so on May 9th this solar eclipse occurred in, as I said before, L's uh, third house. You can see that at the very bottom of the screen. And it puts him under the microscope with his spoken promises uh, from the past with a concentration on his actions. So at first glance, it is easy to see that he would have some experiences which reminded him of experiences he had had in his early growing up years that caused um, caused suffering due to actions taken by others which were unjust causing L to feel insecure so we're looking at the birth chart of L and the influences between May of 2013 and August of 2013. So for a further analysis of this chart, um, 
And, and considering the astrological key that I use for interpretation, I want to state some things that I find that are facts. And if you have any study of astrology at all, you'd be able to follow this. If you don't, then this is just interesting information, which is um, supporting the theory that I'm bringing forward. So one of the methods I use for uncovering the theme or promise of an eclipse is to list at least three major planetary aspects from the eclipse to the birth chart. That means, how is this uh, where the planets are at on this eclipse, how are they affecting this person? What promise, what is it, what's the story that it's telling? So I use this as a key of discovery of the theme or promise of what is to unfold. So historically, throughout time, we have considered the Trinity, which is made up, uh, you know, a tri is three, our Trinity made up of three planetary bodies, such as a grand trine. A grand trine is a triangle of three planets that are all connecting exactly through the same element. Um, the, the energy influence moves easily and harmony is evident. The number three holds a cadent meaning that there is a dispersal of knowledge waiting to be heard or unfolded by the laws of synchronicity. We see that when you hear the same thing or you see the same thing three times, it's wise to follow the guidance of this trifold directed universal message. And astrology three is very significant. There are three zodiac signs in each of the four elements, fire, earth, air, and water. Fire has Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, earth, Earth signs are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Air signs are Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And now there are three categories to the patterning of the houses. We call the first house or the particular area of the chart. The chart is divided up like a pie. Uh, the first, second, and third house, angular succeeding cadence, And it repeats that process throughout the chart. There are three modalities, three modes, by which the four elements are divided into. Cardinal, fixed, mutable, three again. A stellium is a pattern in astrology made up of three or more planets who are united, and the influence is considered strong due to the close relationship. So, there is power, a powerful influence when three or more stand together. Now, it's, um, I don't know how many years ago, I, uh, probably three, maybe four or five years ago, I went to a seminar, and the topic of the seminar was called the Cosmic Key. And originally, the method I, I learned from this astrologer um, was that when there's three witnesses or three planetary bodies or three angles, and he called it angels, as he called them, formed by three planets, it's a key to a successful interpretation. So he formulated that because Saturn takes approximately a 28-year cycle from beginning to to from from the place it's at when someone's born 28 years later by process of transit it would return to the same exact spot in the same constellation and the moon it takes about a 28 day cycle from new moon to new moon and a progress moon which is something we use to progress somebody's chart takes about a 28 year cycle to return to the place it was at someone's birth so these again three factors that look for six that you can use for successful forecasting however i found in my practice that aspects or angles formed by three planets by transit or progression or more indicates that an experience will be had especially when the outer planets um, that means from earth going out meaning farther and farther away mars jupiter saturn uh, uranus uh, uh, neptune pluto those planets um, that you're going to have some very powerful experiences when they are all forming some type of connection especially on a major event such as a solar eclipse so i call this an astrological key for successful interpretation so based on history 
astrological patterning and universal laws, I use this particular astrological key as my tool, my theory, and essentially just remembering that when three or more uh, planets are forming connections, angles, aspects to each other, especially during a major event such as a solar eclipse, it is supportive of a theme, a story, a promise that will unfold within the perimeters of the next six months. And so, to continue with this story as it unfolds, once the picture has been painted by the aspects, by the angles from the solar eclipse, we can look at the months to follow, meaning the next five months, and watch that continual development of the painting of that picture that was started and began at the time of the eclipse. It's always interesting what the three or more planets involved has to say. So following the pattern created by that solar eclipse, or some might call that a new moon because a solar eclipse occurs on a new moon, I look at the lunar cycles. That is the new moon to the full moon in the months that follow the solar eclipse. Using this method, you can see the promise and theme that that solar eclipse promise unfolds like a story. So I'm, I've painted uh, really the theory or a process that I use to unfold this story. And um, the next thing that I, um, once again, I'll um, want to show you a chart, which is, I call them L's aspects or the angles. That's exactly what this is, listing the three and more major aspects occurring on the solar eclipse to L's birth chart. And as you can see here, I list, I actually list nine of them, but there's a couple more than this that, um, these are the major, major ones. And in this chart here, if you have, again, any astrological education or um, background, you can see Venus and Mars are in a mutual reception on this solar eclipse, which lends attention to El speaking out about his roots and his early beginnings. Um, the outside ring, which is a transiting chart, is almost at a critical, we find Mars is almost at a critical degrees, bringing a lot of attention to El's verbal action um, taken in reaction to what others are acting upon. So the next six months, as you can see from this particular breakdown, there's way more than three. So we know that there is a powerful influence. This is a very important time in L's life. Um, and it is promised that, he, this, that L will have some incredible experiences. So now let's let's begin this story of interpreting this chart, um, and and you know I call it a picture. What this what this chart paints as a picture, as a theme, as a promise, um, and and what it paints is that there will be valuable wisdom that L draws upon from the past over the course of the next uh, six months. Memories of experiences from his early childhood may come to mind, opening the way for him to speak out on behalf of others who are being criticized unjustly. Actions will be taken uh, to methodically work with the underlying structure of hidden arenas. Uh, L will be taking action um, on behalf of others. This eclipse sets a, a theme for L to act on uh, issues that are less than perfect and present issues around security. It also presents the challenge to care for his health and well-being and that he may encounter disagreements and frustrating criticism about his tireless actions to provide clarity on security issues. He will experience frustrations about news and he will face challenges of popularity and be criticized in his leadership. He'll face challenges with foreign relations and security. He'll put much energy into discussions and focus on early childhood education. This is not a popular time for L. He faces challenges to transform the workforce. It takes time because there are blocks promised by this eclipse. So I look to the turning point, which is Presently here in August, today is August 13th, 2013. So we are at that turning point. 
Um, and uh, L will experience obstacles and a lot of pressure to change the laws. Experience angry, anger and um, find it that, that he's angry about uh, certain things that are going on around him. And there'll be big topics such as racism and discrimination, which are a part of his life. Um, one of the things that I looked at in this, as this story unfolded for L, is that he would face challenges to overcome actions taken to secure his home and the land that he lives on. Um, that he would experience anger about violence and security challenges. Lots of new ideas and talk about the day-to-day -day workforce of the American people and ideas and strategies put forward. You're probably starting to get a picture of who I'm talking about. Creative ideas for jobs, taxes, banks, lending institutions, and health care reform. Belief in a vision that no one goes uncared for. A large amount of questioning, worry, concern, anxiety about the future of the United States and its relationships with other countries. Lots of support from Elle's family and his home environment. Feeling emotionally divided by what he hears from his own party as well as um, the opposite party. Can't seem to please anyone and that's something that's important to Elle. He will have an opportunities to analyze. He will have opportunities to analyze, consider, and discuss what others' values and ideas for creating resolution with financial problems. Feeling as if in May there would be this feeling or this, you know, these these thoughts going through this person's head's head that he's out of ideas, that there's a crisis of a, of idea of a how to solve past financial issues. Um, opportunities would arise to talk about taxes and reform taxes uh, to help the financial debt problems. Um, L becomes um, L's programs or things that, that he has put together will become pro top priority in discussions. And challenges to L L's popularity with the working class food and service businesses. And going further, now looking at some of these outer planets, such as Saturn. Um, and Saturn is retrograde at the time of this solar eclipse. And finding that, we find that when we look at that chart, that Saturn is actually right beside Neptune. And this may cause some emotional suffering, which would take a toll on El's health. This particular transit of Saturn could bring up some old ghosts for L, making him feel as if the weight of the world is on his shoulders and reminding him of old patterns that he had strived to change in areas such as pre prejudice and unjust and unfair acts. He may well go through a financial crisis himself as Neptune rules his second house of money. So this is one of those powerhouse planets I was talking about in this story. This is a, you know, an important time. So security is one of the main issues of uh, that is going through this person's head throughout this process. Now at the same time, Saturn is also, as I said earlier, retrograde, meaning to go in a backward motion, um, and it and it does form a a forty five degree angle um, from to L's Mars. So this shows all his intentions are being met with strong resist resistance. Uh, events may occur beyond his personal control where he's forced to adapt to the conditions. Um, so when I look at Saturn though with L's Mars and Neptune it shows that L will be seriously struggling right through till September of 2013. Tough time. Uh, for this person, feeling emotionally spent and physically exhausted, if not sick, including sadness and depression. An eclipse, a solar eclipse, is about a person's identity, and there's a concentration of energy, and sort of like a crisis, and when we see it in the, that particular area of this person's chart, it meant that there might, might be a crisis of 
thought or of being able to uh, think in, in a way that would not be under the microscope. Um, you're, you're probably getting a good idea, as I said earlier, who this person is. And then when I looked at Le Neptune and the square it was forming to the moon in L's chart, um, I could see that he may not be seeing things clearly that um, not that he ever could with uh, being born with the sun squaring Neptune in his chart and, and that he would be in danger of being overly influenced by others. Um, and he would probably feel misunderstood, disillusioned, and struggled against weakness and health issues uh, brought on by his own insecurities. Um, but this is tough. This is a very, because this is a fixed aspect that's being triggered in this person's chart. So it means that it was working to what what this what's happening to this person is that they would have to try to take a look at things in a different way from the way that they had been stuck in or the um, you know the behavior patterns that they'd been stuck in in the past so um, and there 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 would be a great instability and possible deceit um, or our deception going on with with the family or things at home or even like I was saying before in the homeland um, and there is this possibility of sadness and you know um, a struggle to be understood and um, to have cooperation in the person's life in their area of work so then I look at Pluto and this one is indicating a strong imbalance of him being forced to make decisions. So this does suggest that there is a very serious imbalance. And I'm going to tell you who this person is at this point. This person is Barack Obama. He is a Leo. And he is, he is a very strong Leo. And this has been a very challenging time for him throughout the process of, of May through through August. And this month, August, is a big turning point for him. And you can see what was promised on that solar eclipse. As I told you the story, as I analyzed some of these planetary aspects, which there are more than, there's about 13 of them, actually. Uh, I showed nine of them on the screen earlier, but there was actually about 13 of them. And we do see in the news back in May that um, there was lots of focus on the economy, on middle class jobs, and that he had, um, was being, you know, sort of under the gun, under the microscope for the things that he had said in the past and the actions that he had taken, and, um, and that he was speaking out and drawing lines with some major issues. And here we are in uh, August, and I do have some of the things that are happening presently that we've, we're, we're aware of, um, the problems with the Russian president, um, Putin, and Trayvon Martin's speech and the Obamacare. Uh, these are some of the things, and there's these incredible power plays that are going on. And if you look, really look at his chart in the, the solar eclipse, it does promise all of these things would be a very strong, uh, very, very heavy on his shoulders over the course of these months. And uh, so uh, I did want to bring out these points and, and bring up this uh, that. Uh, whatever a solar eclipse promise, that story does promise to unfold in that person's life. And, um, and you know, the, the, uh, some of the things that are going on right now is the attention. Uh, Obama promises broad review of surveillance programs, and there was talk in August of impeaching Obama by some organizations. Um, so, you know, it's it's a it has been a very tough time in his life, and uh, with all of this going on in in the total uh, reform or transition that's happening with the United States and the the American dollar, and the bank and lending institutions, you can see of all of that was sort of in crisis and uh, Obama continually grasping for uh, ways to to uh, increase um, and 
uh, sort of restructure programs. Um, so I did want to show you that, and there there is um, you know, um, for anybody out there who um, has been going through these feeling these experiences this is that month august is that month where we do turn the corner where everything that that you've been experienced that has come to light that has become very strong in your awareness um august is what i call the turning point um that a time where we come to full realization and there are openings for us to understand accept the theme of these changes and and as they have continually come to full awareness truly it is a time though that we can think of it as a gift because here everything that we saw was was uh, sort of like in a time of crisis of change, especially for people who don't like change or are or, or those fixed signs such as Obama. So I thought I'd share that story of his life, of um, uh, all the change that he's experiencing and uh, let you know that it is, um, if, if you're one of those fixed signs, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, or Scorpio, that you would be experiencing very similar types of um, experiences in your life and that it's perfectly normal and so how do we work with that and, and and one of the suggestions I have for you is that acceptance is one of the biggest things and uh, and to stay positive and keep the faith so I want to say thank you for watching as I uh, shared this story on the show today and that I look forward to seeing you next week take good care I'll see you then